The Slap of God is one of the many seconds long clips to stem from Nicolas Cage's career and land front and square in online culture years later. It comes from a scene in the 2017 horror comedy film Mum and Dad, wherein parents turn violently on their children for no discernible reason. It peaks during Cage's insane performances wherein he's totally typecast for the manic energy that only he can bring to the screen. Naturally, this scene of Cage slapping a character named Damon so hard it looks as if the diviner's guide in his hand has been named The Slap of God, thanks to Burpee during August 2020. Then, fast forward to October 2022, an artist Rigor Morale would insert the short clip into a rotoscoped portion of his film, Rick and Mort, all to the smooth sounds of Bach Cello Suite No. 1, G Major, Prelude. Marty, I'm bored, I'm, I'm gonna kill you! This would be quickly picked up and shared around the internet, often named simply as Morty I'm Bored I'm Going to Kill You, and utilised as a format to convey different messages during the start of this year. Given how popular this format quickly became, we'd start seeing edits bringing in other characters to the slap of God, and in the case of Dark Games this would follow the tradition of an edit compilation quickly switching between shots to the tune of Mr. Blue Sky by Elo. As it stands, we are now at the point where it is not unusual to see hundreds of interpretations created by animators or VFX artists, giving Nick Cage's acting a real chance to shine. As such, it's fantastic to see how long the actor has thrived in the digital ecosystem. Not long ago, the meme for Nick Cage and Pedro Pascal staring at each other was front and centre, and before then of course comes decades of references. It's comforting to know that despite its chaotic and ever-shifting existence, the internet is able to hold something static such as the manic energy provided by a certain legendary actor. It fits deeply in the phenomenon otherwise labelled as Cage Rage, a term utilised to explain the out-of-context clips taken from his performances and spread around the internet, such as the slap of God. This is explored in an academic article titled Nicolas Cage, Good or Bad? Stardom, Performance and Memes in the Age of the Internet. The author determines, it does not really matter whether or not Cage is truly bad by any objective standard. The appeal often comes from audiences appropriating the films and reveling in the pleasure generated by their own reworkings, which essentially become distinct texts in their own right. As such, it can be argued the Slap of God has become its own force independent of Nicolas Cage, despite his taking part in it, and his legacy will continue to generate these texts as long as he brings his unique style to the screen. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>